stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please pause for 30 seconds of silence. Good morning, Grizzlies. This is Shakira. Cameron with Sports News. And I'm Maya with GNN, your Grizzly News Network. Today is Wednesday, February 19th, 2020. February 25th is ACT Universal Testing Day that is mandatory for graduation for all juniors and only seniors who have not taken the ACT. All students that are testing must have a photo ID to get into their testing room. If you do not have your school ID or driver's license, go to your house office and request your picture ID found in Infinite Campus before February 25th. Testing room lists will be posted inside the cafeteria and in the gym foyer on Friday, February 21st and Monday, February 24th. The testing meeting will begin promptly at 7 a.m. in the main gym. Don't be late as you will not be let into the testing room once directions have started. Standardized testing procedures will be enforced. Any electronic devices found in your possession during testing will invalidate your test, which can jeopardize your graduation. Environmental Club is raising money to help the wildlife in Australia. Here is more information. Across the country, over 12 million hectares of land has burned to the ground in Australia due to drought and climate change. Unfortunately, this has left a lot of animals without habitat, including koalas, wallabies, and kangaroos. Australia's wildlife rescues and assistance programs are asking for money to take care of injured animals and restore their habitats. On February 21st, Environmental Club asks you to make a donation to Aiding Australia, in which all proceeds will go to WIRES, Australia's largest wildlife rescue. If you want to donate or have more information, see Ms. Bonanno in room 923. Seniors, turn in your scholarship award letters. We are just over $3 million in awards, and we want to beat the last year's seniors. They had more than $11 million. Also, don't forget to turn in any college acceptance letters or military contracts. See Ms. Benyon, Ms. Little, or Ms. Welling for more details. Students, especially seniors, a good habit to get into is to check your emails at least once a day. You might miss a scholarship deadline, a special senior event, or important notification. Check your email daily. BSU will be announcing and providing clips of 400 years of African American history. African American history should be celebrated all year long because of the major contributions after Amer African Americans have made to American history. Now here's Cameron with our sports news. Thank you, Shakira. Congratulations to our Lady Basketball team as they advanced in the playoffs and qualified for the state tournament. The team was led by Leah Gales, who finished with 27 points and 8 rebounds, Riri Davis with 10 rebounds, Garrison Freeman with 12 points, and Kelsey and Kiana both finished with 9 points apiece and dominated defensively. With the win last night, the girls team will take on Desert Oasis for the regional championship on Thursday at 5 p.m. at Desert Oasis. Attention all students. The girls' basketball program needs your help to fill the gym at Desert Oasis. This Thursday, after two conference games, Dio, the Lady Grizzlies won one and lost one. We are looking for 45 fans to ride the bus, for, to ride the spirit bus, and heading to Desert Oasis. If you are interested, you must see Mrs. Hemberger immediately after school and will be willing to pay $5. Once again, $5 for transportation to, to and from DO, as well as a ticket for the game. We need your help. Please support your Grizzly ladies as they take on the DO at 5 p.m. for the regional championship. 
This week will be the final days for, of softball intramurals. We will be on the field doing work to prepare for tryouts. Softball trials will be on Saturday, February 22nd, 9 a.m. for 9th and 10th graders, 10.30 for 11th and 12th graders. Go Grizz! Here's more information about men's volleyball tryouts. Hi, we're excited about the 2020 men's volleyball season this year. Uh, unlike past years, uh, this is the first year where I'm letting the expectations to be set by the players and not myself. Really excited about the talent this year, um, the returners as well as our new talent um, that have worked real hard uh, the last several months. Tryouts are 22 February um, at 8 a.m. to 12 p.m. in our main gym. I hope to see everybody there. Malachi and Deshaun went to talk to our spring sports coaches about upcoming tryouts. Here's more interviews. I'm here with Coach P, coach for track and field. When are tryouts for track and field? Um, well, actually, we don't have tryouts, so for the most part, everyone makes a team. So uh, track and field is able to carry kind of, kind of like a big team. So we have about 100, 120 kids. So uh, we're actually having the date for the start is the 22nd of February. So that's a Saturday. It is 9 a.m. Um, we'll get going. Obviously, we have conditioning before, but uh, if you're there Saturday the 22nd, uh, you'll probably be on the team. What are you looking forward to this season? I'm um, looking forward to us obviously improving every every aspect of it, uh, our throws, our jumps, our sprints, and our distance. Um, definitely want to make sure we get the right bodies out there. We need plenty of athletes. Uh, track's a great thing to help improve your other sport. It's also a great way to stay in shape and keep your grades up. I'm here with Coach Teal, head coach of Spring Valley softball team. And uh, when are tryouts for softball? Um, softball tryouts will be February 22nd. Uh, in the meantime, we're uh, working out uh, four days a week. On Mondays and Fridays, we work out on the field. And on Tuesday, Thursdays, we're working in the weight room. And all those times are 2 to 3.15. What are you looking forward to most this season? Uh, just the... Just the new, uh, the new blood that's coming in. Uh, we, got, we have a lot of young players uh, that we're going to have to introduce to softball. Uh, we got a lot of girls that are out for the very first time, so it's going to be very intriguing to see what they've learned over the last month or so and uh, get them prepared for trials. So today I'm joined with Coach Reese, uh, head coach of Spring Valley Swim Team, and when does the season start for a swim? First day is February 22nd. We have tryouts down at Aquatic Springs Pool. What's going on during preseason for a swim? Uh, we have an excellent program going down in the CrossFit room at 2 o'clock every day. Uh, it's a program created by a student athlete from Spring Valley who's now um, uh, going to school at PLU for coaching. So if you want to know anything about uh, swimming, come on down to 201, 501 at 2 o'clock and we'll tell you about the team. What can uh, fans do to support the team? Um, as far as support, um, I will have our season schedule posted on the CNN Grizzly News. Uh, come you know, see the kids swim, help out at some of the meets. We always need help as our timing goes. Here at Coach Pienza, coach for the Spring Valley Baseball Team. When are tryouts for the season? Uh, tryouts are February 22nd at 9 a.m. down at the baseball field. In order to try out, you have to have a completed Register My Athlete done online, uh, a completed athletic packet, and a sports physical done. Without any of those things, you will not be able to try out. What are you looking forward to this season? I'm oh, just hoping to have a good year. We've been working really hard uh, for a long time and uh, getting excited because the season's coming, and uh, we hope we have a great year. Thank you. Thanks, Malachi and Deshaun. Now here's Maya with some more news around campus. Thank you, Carrie. Remember the deadline for the Disneyland grad night is this week. Pay the banker to reserve your spot on the bus. Any questions, go to room 802, the new activities office. Here's another Mr. Ramirez shout out. Mr. Ramirez, we miss you so much and wish you a fast recovery. We're all praying for you and miss you and can't wait to see you here. We love you. We miss you. Hurry back soon. Yes. We're all thinking of you and praying for you and your family. Mary has been such a great person to me. When I came here, he helped me with my English, and he's also a teacher. 
so he helped me with math every time I needed it and I think that's really great and even his family always helps the Latino community in this the school and I think that's really thoughtful of him. I just want to say thank you to Mr. Ramirez because he's a, a great teacher, a great person. He always helps uh, students. Like For me, he's not my math teacher, but he would go out of his way to help me to understand even like I know his son, they're like they're just a really great family, really great people, and uh, we, you are missed. And I can't, I wait to see you again in these holidays. And I hope you get better. Hola, compañero. Me hace mucha falta aquí en la escuela. Espero que se sienta me, un poco mejor cada día. Nosotros estamos esperando su llegada y estamos pensando. Yo estoy pensando mucho en Jackie y los niños. Y bueno. Si necesita algo, estamos aquí, siempre, la familia Gris. Now here's Ralph with today's weather. Welcome back to the weather report. So today's going to be a nice high of 68 with a low of 43. Winds are going to be facing the south at 8 miles per hour, and it is going to be a sunny day for today. Also, humidity is going to be at 17%. Going on to Thursday, it's going to be a high of 68, and we're going to see those highs continue on to Friday with a high of 71 on Friday. Remember, the low of 43 is going to be on Thursday, followed by a low of 49 on Friday. So as we saw, and as we saw last week as well, those highs are going to keep continuing to climb from the mid-60s to the low 70s. And as we see in the Valley View right here, we're going to see rising temperatures all across the Valley, especially for us here at Spring Valley with a high of 69, followed by Boulder City, also a high of 69. But as we look through the Valley as well, we see multiple areas kind of increase pretty much every single area in the valley has increased temperature red rock a high of 57 blue diamond a high of 64 summerland a high of 66 with enterprise being a high of 67 67 and then we also see north las vegas and Dallas both breaching that 70 mark high of 72 for uh, north las vegas and a high of 71 for Nellis. Keeping in mind, Paradise is also a high of 66, and Henderson also breaching that 70 mark with a high of 71. Also, as you know, Saturday is going to be the Democratic National Caucus, with Bernie Sanders projected to lead, uh, followed by uh, Michael Bloomberg. Anyways, this is Ralph with your weather. Back to you at the desk. Thank you, Ralph. This was Maya, Shakira, and Cameron of the Grizzlies News Network. Have, Have a wonderful, wonderful Wednesday, Grizzlies. Wednesday, Grizzlies.